guy might be in play for the Browns is uh, Justin Lane. Went to Benedict in high school. Was a wide receiver predominantly. Also played some defensive back. Went to Michigan State. Switched to defensive back. As we see here, he's a guy that would come up and hit you in high school. <laughs> and, and pretty good coverage guy. A little bit taller. 6'2", 6'3". It, Talk a little bit about Lane, Dan. And, well, that's what I kind of like about him, especially at fitting with the Browns, is he's taller. Because you have Denzel Ward on one side, who, of course, is really fast, not the biggest guy in the world. So now you can maybe pair him with a taller cornerback on the other side of the field, and I think those two match up well. It's going to be interesting to see kind of what the Browns value this year in corners with Steve Wilkes, because last year, one of the reasons they loved Denzel Ward was his ability to cover in man. And they loved his tape. They thought he was one of the few corners that had NFL-style qualities on tape. That's why they picked him. That's why they liked him at number four. So let's see how they feel about a guy like Justin Lane, now that Steve Wilkes is in, is, is in the building, and how they feel about that cornerback position. Let's welcome in uh, Jake Burns again. Jake, you and I have talked about Justin Lane previous weeks. Um, let's review. What do you like about Justin Lane? What do the Browns, more importantly, what do you think they like about him? Yeah, for most of those of us who are not in the draft room, it just makes a ton of sense. You look at a lot of what Wilkes does in, in cover three coverage, and you look at a player like Lane who's lanky enough, who can run with people at top end speed type of routes, downfield routes. But like you said, Dave, come up and make a play on the on the football and make tackles in zone coverage too, because that's a big part of run support is, is uh, those guys are your contained guys in a lot of situations, your corners who need to come up on sweeps, pin pull, things like that, where the running back is working laterally. And uh, he can do those things. He's not afraid of contact, and he can get after the ball. And he's he's fast enough. He's not a burner, but he's fast enough, and he's really good route awareness and in, in, in zone concept stuff to see patterns that come together, whether it's a post and an over route, something like that where it's threatening his cover three route, passing on a man, letting another man come into his zone and making a play on the football. And he's a very good and probably his best trade is ball skills. Uh, you know, popular thing in the NFL these days, going up, throwing fades, throwing back shoulder balls. That stuff happens everywhere week to week. It's going to happen to the Browns. They got a player, if they get lame, they have a player who can handle that. Did so at the college level. Really good using that long, wiry frame to challenge the ball at the highest point. He can do those things. He has some quirks he has to get better at. Man-to-man -man coverage stuff, if he's impressed, sort of how he plants and cuts are a little awkward. You can see that he is still transitioning to a full-time corner, getting the feel for what that all means. He's going to need some refinement there. You know, and, and this is this is to say you're, you're playing against the best athletes all the time. These guys, it's one little thing here or there that can cost you on any given snap. And he runs into those issues sometimes from what we call a technician standpoint. But he has all the athletic traits. He can get it done. Is is in our mind, people who study the Browns and look at what they might want, an ideal fit. And the sort of value for Lane is sort of an ideal fit. There's some teams in front of them. The Packers might want to look at a corner. Uh, Detroit might want to look at a corner. So there's some teams that could threaten there if they really like Lane, too. So uh, if it gets to that point, he's there at 49. I would be rather surprised if they don't take him. Yeah, another, another team that uh, is reportedly interested in drafting him. Uh, is the uh, L.A. Raiders as well. So uh, the Oakland Raiders with uh, John Gruden and, and Mike Mayock also interested in Lane.